The user has no time to learn a new system, I have no time to write one. So the result was what? Well, this is the feature of Nancy. It was cut out of, a, of a, 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 an already very simple program, which I used to power my website. Uh, we immediately ran into a problem. Uh, supposing you have different pages, which, for example, need different uh, navigation bars, uh, you can't just use dollar $include because it's not going to work anymore. Uh, you need two different files in different places. So the answer is obviously inheritance, as every object-oriented program will know. What am I going on about? Well, actually, although the original idea that came to mind was to use inheritance, uh, it, really I sort of marketed it as specialization because I certainly wasn't going to be able to explain inheritance uh, <coughs> to someone who wasn't really a programmer, at least not since the days of Fortran. So, here, uh, here's my rather, uh, my rather impoverished diagram. Uh, this is what comes of using someone else's computer to do your presentation. So, suppose you have a typical tree. These un unshown uh, icons are actually uh, text files, as supposed to be. And so we have the root of the tree up there. I think it's a stick. <laughs> You've got a laser pointer there. Right? Oh, this is fine. So, and uh, we have an index page. Each page is a, is, is a folder, each page in the website. And uh, we're going to see what happens uh, when we build the web page. Uh, every page is going to use the same template, because it's a very simple site. So we're building the index page, and we can't find a template under the index folder. So we go back up to the root, and we find a template there. But for the navigation bar, which we assume is special for the index page, maybe it has a, a logo or something on it, and the body, which we imagine is probably going to be special for every page, uh, we find the um, files in the index folder. And then what happens? Well, we just imagine we've got a person. Uh, this is a sort of corporate website with index page, and then about us, and under this, among other people, we have someone called Niasse. And uh, what happens when we try to build a person page? Well, again, we use the same template. Uh, this is possibly unrealistic. You probably have a template sitting in the people folder instead. And then we get a, a top level nav bar. And so what we're doing here is we read in the template dollar include nav bar. We look first of all in the Niasse folder. We don't find a, temp a nav bar file. So we look up in people, and we still don't find one. And so we go all the way to the root and we find the global nav bar. And then finally, of course, we find the body content here. So it's actually picked out these files from all over the place, or rather from all over this tree, and uh, blonged them together. And of course, the idea is that you just um, output a, another tree of uh, HTML files corresponding to the uh, original input tree. Isn't it just a toy? Well, it turns out we've used it for a corporate website of about 100 pages. You can read the uh, numbers there. And we're about to use it for a project of roughly double that size. Um, now, because these sites are, are very simple, we have the obvious restriction. There's nothing dynamically computed here. This is all calculated at compile time. But I do have a thesis that if um, the content is static, then the logical structure should mirror the site structure. And there, there shouldn't be any reason why that can't happen, which is the other obvious restriction that Nancy has, uh, because you're typically going to be starting with a source tree and then producing a, a, a tree of HTML files with exactly the same structure. There's nothing to actually enforce that but, uh, except sanity. Um, <laughs> so here's the moral. Um, I think the 80-20 rule is a bit uh, pessimistic. I think you can start with something more like 51 um, and, 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 and solve the problem much more simply than you might at first think. I've done the uh, traditional uh, WC minus L. Nancy is about 50 lines of code. Uh, that would be a slot count. It's 64 if you include the comments. Uh, a few more uh, sort of tidying up points. It's, it's on the web. It's GPL. Any more questions? <laughs> oh, wow. How much faster can you do your presentation? <laughs> you do it again. <laughs> <laughs> With more dancing. So I don't know how, I don't know, I don't know how quick that was. The, the fastest I achieved in practice my, was uh, 4 minutes 20 seconds. I thought it was like, slightly disappointing. But uh, now that I've got a couple of extra minutes to answer questions, it's not such a problem as it originally was.